Agora TV. The world is thinking. This may be your next book, but could you say something about the, the gay brain? Okay. So, you may turn straight to Appendix 1 that's called The Male Brain and Sexual Orientation, where I fought with my, I fought with my editors and publisher to allow me to put that section in the book because I felt it needed to be there. If you're going to have a book called The Male Brain, you need to include at least something about all sexual orientations. Now, I'm basically, the literature in science seems to indicate at this point that genetic differences at birth are probably responsible for what's called same-sex attraction. It's not some kind of a moral decision. It's not something that, that happens to you that changes you. It has to do probably with some type of brain circuitry that happens because of both genes and some hormones. For example, you know, when teen boys that are straight start to go through puberty, they start to be attracted to female body shapes. They may, they, they may see everything that walks by that looks like a pair of breasts straight guys are interested in. But at the same time, guys that are same-sex attracted are interested in guys. As a matter of fact, one very interesting study showed that males who are gay actually find the, they don't change their ability to smell male pheromones they continue to be able to smell male pheromones and actually enjoy that smell much more than the female pheromone smells, which the straight guys like. So there's something that's going on at a very biological level. So thank you for that question. We need a lot more research before we're able to say much more definitive about that area. So thank you.